Well, folks, there you see Brad and Amy waiting to make their entrance. We've got a 16 seed playing a one seed here, man. I'm thinking blowout, am I right? Oh, well, you would think blowout, but no, it's not. Seeding is actually based on the amount of money that they have earned over televised game shows that they played. Now, I know that we have Brad Rudder here tonight. He is our number one seed, and he has won over $3.2 million on his Jeopardy appearances. But we shouldn't rule anyone out, because Grand Slam is a game that none of these contestants have played before, so it's anybody's game tonight. All right, so now Brad and Amy are entering the arena. And while they prepare for battle, time for the rules. Now listen up, these are important if you're gonna dig the game. Grand Slam is played over four rounds. You've got general knowledge, numbers and logic, words and letters, and then a final mixed round. Now both contestants begin each round with one minute on their clocks. Once a contestant gives a correct answer, his clock stops and his opponents begins the countdown. The player whose clock runs out first loses the round and his opponent keeps whatever time remains on his own clock to play with in the final decisive round. That's a big chip for them. They have more time and they can win that final round. Now each contestant has three switches to use at any time over the four rounds. If a player doesn't like a question, he can just switch it over to his opponent. So it looks like our players are ready for round one. This is it. The time has finally come. They are now in the control of the questioner. Contestants, take your positions. You. Round one is a general knowledge round. Earlier you tossed a coin to see who should go first, and Amy, you lost, so you'll answer the first question. Your clock will start to count down now. What German composed the Goldberg variations? Pass. Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach. Amy, coral, cottonmouth, and mamba are all types of what reptile? Steak. Correct. Brad, in humans, what tiny blood vessels connect arteries to veins? Capillaries. Correct. Amy, according to NBC, who was scheduled to replace Jay Leno as host of The Tonight Show in 2009? Conan O'Brien. Correct. Brad, what celebrity chef owns and operates four U.S. restaurants named Spago? Wolfgang Puck. Correct. Amy, in 2006, what country's military staged a coup resulting in the overthrow of Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat? Uh, pass. Thailand. What baseball player is mentioned in the lyrics Switch. to the Simon and Garfunkel song, Mrs. Robinson? Joe DiMaggio. Correct. Amy, on the Fox TV series 24, Jack Bauer works out of the Los Angeles office of what fictitious government agency? FBI. CTU. Amy, what NBA basketball star shares his name with a region in Japan famous for its beef? Kobe O'Brien. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Amy, what American company uses the ticker symbol F on the New York Stock Exchange? Pass. Ford Motor Company. Amy, Fred Noonan was the navigator for whose ill-fated attempt to fly around the world? Switch. Amelia Earhart. Correct. Amy, in the original Pac-Man video game. Amy, you're out of time. The correct answer is Clyde. You lose round one. Brad, you keep 46.36 seconds to take through to the final round. Mm. Well, you know what, Amanda? What I take away from that round is the FBI has been so ineffectual over the last few years. They're now thought to be a fictional agency. <laughs> I gotta tell you though, I mean that, that that was very tough for Amy. I mean it was no surprise. Everybody knew that she wasn't going to be the, the trivia queen. Uh, let's lay out some stats for us, Amanda. Well, Brad was a perfect four for four in that round. He didn't miss a single question. Amy struggled a bit. She used up two switches and only got two of seven questions correct. So Brad takes a 46.36 second advantage to the final round here. Brad Rutter's game is trivia. Listen, so when, when Ken Jennings is so yary to your Amadeus, you know you were an imposing <laughs> cat, and Rutter really stared her down there. Exactly. And then the other thing as well is, of course, we have many other rounds to come. We've got uh, words and letters, which Amy yeah, is going to be fantastic Maybe he'll gag on the numbers. Who knows what her strength know. is. That'll be the next round when we return in two and two. Woolery. <laughs> Can underdog Amy Kelly use her lingo skills to spell upset in the words and letters round? Or will Jeopardy! champ Brad Rutter add to his commanding lead in numbers and logic? Find out next on Grand Slam.